Hi, TLT Carlson here. Today we continue our rankings of the albums in the Beatles catalog. Their 1967 album, Magical Mystery Tour, which also served as a soundtrack to the film of the same name. There are 11 tracks on this album. I'm going by the American version of the album, which had more tracks than the original UK version, and the band considers the American one now to be the official one. So, again, 11 tracks, and we'll get started now. At number 11 on the list, I have Flying. This is just kind of a short, bizarre instrumental that really doesn't do much for me. And it's not something that you ever hear a lot of people talk about when it comes to the Beatles catalog. It's really not hard to see why. At number 10, I have Baby, You're a Rich Man. Just kind of a bizarre song that can't quite decide if it wants to be psychedelia or pop. And it never really quite succeeds at both with some really strange backing instrumentation and the like. I'm not quite sure what to think of this one. I don't dislike the song, but I wouldn't put it in my list of favorite Beatles songs. At number nine on the list, I have Hello Goodbye. Yeah, it's a typical Paul McCartney bubblegum pop song, but of course it's catchy. Pretty much everything he ever wrote was catchy in one way or another, and this is no exception. At number eight, I have another Paul McCartney song, Your Mother Should Know. This one's a little more, you know, classically influenced and vocal heavy, and it's actually done pretty well. I quite like this song, and it is one that I think should get talked about a little more. At number seven, I have another in this trio of Paul McCartney tunes, Penny Lane. Again, is there anybody in the world who hasn't heard Penny Lane? This is one of the most infectious pop numbers you'll ever hear. Getting out of your head is going to be very difficult to do. And despite its upbeat, cheery nature, of course Paul McCartney managed to sneak in a few little dirty jokes. I don't exactly know what he means by a fish and finger pie, but one can only imagine. At number six, I have Blue Jay Way. This being George Harrison's contribution to the album. This is a very slow and gloomy song. It's certainly a departure for some of those more upbeat pop songs we just talked about. George Harrison, of course, wrote several songs with the Beatles. And I'd say probably about two-thirds of them are really good. And this is certainly a good one. Not George Harrison's best song by any means, but certainly a standout track on Magical Mystery Tour. At number five, I have The Fool on the Hill. And this is one of those you know, introspective tracks and some very great lyric work and singing on this one as well. A pretty solid track that I'd say is something of a minor hit. At number four, I have I Am the Walrus. This, of course, just being John Lennon going nuts with psychedelia. The lyrics to this one, I've never tried to make sense of them, and I don't think that I ever will. I don't know that anyone really can. I don't really think I could say much about I Am the Walrus that hasn't already been said. And number three, I have All You Need Is Love. Again, one of the most famous pop rock songs of all time. This is John Lennon just singing his message of love as only he could do. It's one of those songs that, once again, if you're a living human being anywhere in the Western world, you've heard this song at some point or another. And it is one of those that's, once again, tough to get out of your head. And number two, I have Strawberry Fields Forever. This was a double A-side single with Penny Lane, this being Lennon's side of the single, and in my opinion, the superior song. This is, again, John doing what John does best. It's a superb you know, pop rock song with touches of psychedelia, and again, it's just, it's John being John, and bless him for that. But my pick for the number one track on Magical Mystery Tour is Magical Mystery Tour. The opening song is just so infectious and definitely stands as one of the Beatles' all-time great tracks. It's the perfect intro to this album, and while there are some great tunes that follow, I don't think any of them quite top the opening number, which starts this one in fine form. And that's the end of this list, ranking the tunes on Magical Mystery Tour. What's your favorite song on Magical Mystery Tour? Is this your favorite Beatles album? If not, what is? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.